Hi, this is Robert again from RBC Consulting. Uh, I'm going to do a test on some four-wheel parts here. Uh, I've been getting a lot of calls, so uh, follow me through the video here. I'll try and make it uh, short and sweet. Uh, right here, we've got the uh, Blistine shock. Uh, it's a 4x sh uh, shock. It looks like it's made out of uh, metal. I'm not quite sure if it's aluminum. It feels kind of heavy. But anyway, I sprayed this with uh, Ultra Ever Dry. Uh, bottom coat. I warmed this one up first, sprayed the bottom coat, uh, dried it, sprayed the top coat. Uh, and it seemed to come out pretty good. You can't really tell that it's on there. Uh, the boot what is black. I kind of turned it a speckled black. The shock, you can't even tell it's on there. Uh, but anyway, I had some people call me. Uh, seen the video of the other four by. I wasn't there to videotape it, which was a bummer. Uh, so I could only take photos of it and post it up there. So this one here, I thought I'd give you an idea of what I could put it through. Uh, I've got some mud here and some water. Water's kind of settled up on top, but you can see uh, it's pretty muddy in there. I've got rocks, grass, leaves, uh, all kinds of stuff on there. So I'm gonna put this in the mud and I'm gonna rough it around a little bit and pull it out and show you uh, how clean they come out and uh, the abrasion in the mud doesn't seem to hurt it. Uh, so uh, here we go, I'm gonna swish it around inside, bury it in here real good, rough it up, bring it out. You can see that the mud just falls off the shock. So it's, it's pretty much uh, perfectly clean. I'm gonna try and pick the mud out but it, it just seems to want to fall off the shock. I've got some grass here and some leaves. But uh, anything on there, just, it just falls off. Uh, it stays pretty clean. So, but uh, it, does, it does hold up. I mean, you can dunk it under several times and it just falls off. I'm trying to bring it out there so you can see it fall off. But it's pretty amazing stuff. So, uh, and anything, you know, in the, in the grooves in there, it's kind of hard to get in there and the mud's kind of just sitting there because it really has nowhere to go. But any small amount of water just rinses the shock off. I mean, it, it's, it's going to fall off when it dries. I've already tested that. But you can see that shock's perfectly clean. It just falls right off. So anyway, that's going to be dried and shipped, oh, shipped over to them. They're going to put them on the wheeler give them a test for me and we'll go from there. Uh, I've done a uh, submarine for a fantasy uh, hobby down there in uh, Lakewood, Washington. And uh, I wasn't there for the test, but I got a phone call. Uh, they took this uh, submarine down seven feet underneath the water and uh, the radio and stuff was not even in its case. I sprayed the components inside, the motherboard, uh, the connections, and they took this thing down seven feet underwater, and it did not glitch. And what they were using in the past is epoxy, uh, encasing these uh, receivers and stuff in epoxy. And uh, they were glitching and having problems and all this. But, you know, I did get a call. I guess it was successful. Uh, it seemed to work. Uh, I've got a couple other things I've tested it on. Uh, it seems to be holding up. You can see my other videos on YouTube under Bowerin90. Uh, you can follow me. Uh, if you've got something that needs to be sprayed or you want to do a test on something, you know, uh, feel free to give me a call. Uh, so you can send it to me. I'll spray it. If you need some product or want some information, I can definitely set you up that way too. Uh, but anyway, this is a 4x4 shock. It's uh, going on a guy here locally's his truck. Uh, so hopefully this works out and we can get some more of these out of here. So uh, I'll uh, talk to you guys at a later date.